So now we are going to do question 11. 11.1 um, says that the probabilities of two events A and B are shown in the diagram. A and B are independent events. So we are given event diagram and uh, all the probabilities are shown. So now 11.1.1, we are asked to show that X is equals to 0 0.12. So um, one thing that we were told is that events A and B are independent. So meaning that we can um, use the independent formula, which is probability of A and, oh, let me write it nicely, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B, right? Um, so what is probability of A and B? Because we want to find the values of X, right? We want to find the value of X, hence we're doing this. So probability of A and B, looking at the diagram, it's this one here, right? It's the intersection. So it's going to be 0 0.28 is equal to the probability of A. Probability of A, it's this plus this 0 0.28. So probability of A is the 0 0.42 plus the 0 0.28, right? Um, so you're just going to do that equals to the 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28. So that is the probability of A. And the probability of B, so it's going to times um, the probability of B, it's this X plus the 0 0.28. So probability of B, it's equals to X plus 0 0.28. So it's x plus 0 0.28, right? Um, so let me write this expression nicely at the side. So we have the probability of A and B equals to probability of A multiplied by probability of B, right? And we found probability of A and B 0 0.28 equals to, so it's the intersection, probability of A uh, we just wrote it's 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28, right? And then times probability of B, it's 0 0.28 plus X, right? So um, we want to find the value of X. Remember that? So 0 0.28, and then when you add this, um, it's going to be 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.28 plus x right um so you're just gonna multiply out this uh value here so it's going to be 0 0.28 equals to 0 0.7 times 0 0.28 plus and then the 0 0.7 will multiply the x so it's going to be 0 0.7 x and then you transpose this expression to the other side we have 0 0.28 minus 0 0.7 times 0 0.28 and equals to 0 0.7x, right? So you divide by 0 0.7, divide by 0 0.7. So um, your value of x is supposed to be 0 0.28 minus 0 0.7 times uh, 0 0.28 all over 0 0.7. So x value that you need to find is 0 0.12. 11.1.2, we are asked to find the value of y. So the value of y is this one here. That is not A and not B. So it's not part of um, the event A and B, right? So for us to find that um, probability or the value of y, we need to say y is equals to 1 minus so the complement so the complement um so it's basically y is equals to complement of a union b right um that is that so for us to find that we're just going to say 1 minus uh the union of a and b right um so uh, what's the union of A and B? Union of A and B, it's everything inside here, right? So it's going to be 1 minus into, uh, what is everything inside there? So it's 0 0.42 uh, 
plus 0 0.28 uh, plus so our x we're going to add x there right so um so y will be equals to 1 minus our uh, so 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28 so our x that we found is 0 0.12 so uh, you punch this in your calculator you should get y is equals to 0 0.18 so this is the value of y we're going to find 11.1.3 we are asked to find the union of a or b right so the union of A or B, it's everything that is inside here, right? So um, how we can find that it's P of A or B is equal to 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28 plus X, right? Um, so 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28 plus so our X we found to be 0 0.12. So if you add everything in your calculator, you need to get 0 0.82. So this is the solution for the union. 11.2, uh, we are told the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 70%. If it rains, the probability that it will arrive late at the office. Oh, sorry, let me just repeat. Eleven point two. Um, the probability that it will rain tomorrow is seventy percent. If it rains, the probability that I will arrive, I will arrive at the office late is twenty five percent. If it doesn't rain, the probability that I will arrive late at the office is 10 percent calculate the probability that i will uh, i will be on time for work tomorrow so this uh 70 percent is the probability that it will rain i'm just gonna say r probability that it will rain and this is the probability that it will rain right and um i'll arrive late at the office right so this is the probability that it will not rain and I'll, I'll arrive late at the office, right? So I just presented each and every probability. So now we are asked to find um, the probability that I will be on time. I'll be early at work, right? So to find the probability, probability that I'll be in time at work is equals to, so you're going to multiply uh, the probability that you it will rain right you will multiply it with the probability that you will arrive early um, how do you find early it's because this is late right you will arrive late it will rain and you'll arrive late so it's 25 percent right um, so you're gonna say 100 minus 25 percent is equal to 75 so 75 percent so that is the probability that you'll be early probability that would be early is 75 percent so let me just write 75 so hence the probability that you'll be early right so it's just going to be that uh, product and then you're going to say plus and the probability that it will not rain so so this is the probability that it will rain which is 70 percent the probability that it will not rain is going to be 30 percent right so you're just going to subtract 100 minus 70 percent so this is the probability that it will not rain right um so you're just going to write it here probability that it will not rain and then uh you multiply the probability with uh this portion here which uh this one here is 10 percent if it's not gonna rain and you'll arrive late at work so we only want the probability that it will rain and you'll arrive early at work which is 100 minus 10 so it's going to be 90 
right? So let me present everything currently here. So the probability that it will rain and you arrive early. So um, if, if I present this probability nicely here, so it's going to be uh, the probability that you'll be in time is equals to um, the probability that it will rain multiplied by the probability that I'll be early um, plus the probability that it will not rain um, and um, multiplied by the probability that it will, it will rain and I'll be early, right? So the probability that it will rain, um, as, I, as I said earlier, is going to be 70%, so it's 0 0.7, so you're just going to present it in decimal place, multiplied by the probability that will arrive early. Um, remember that the probability that you'll arrive late, it was 25%. So um, this portion here, it was 25%. So um, you're just going to write 0 0.75 because you arrive early. So this is for early. And then the probability that you it will not rain, so it's going to be plus. Probability that it will not rain is 0 0.3 times the probability that it will rain uh, and you'll arrive early, it's 0 0.9. So you're going to find the product here and add it with this product here and you should get uh, the sum of the product here and the product here to be 0 0.795, which in percentage form is 79.5%. So this is the probability that you'll be on time at work.